everyone, this is Jenny. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make fine art out of your acrylic pour paintings. I think almost everyone who's been doing acrylic pouring for a while has encountered some art snob who feels like what you do is not art. Well, this video solves that problem. To have your art viewed as fine art, all you have to do is tape some fruit to it. Here's a cranberry. If I tape that to this painting, a few of these, boom, it will be viewed as fine art. And it may well sell for hundreds of thousands of dollars. It all depends on your choice of tape and fruit. So let's get started. When turning your acrylic pores into fine art, you'll be faced with a series of choices. The first of which is, what painting do I want to add produce to? Now, the obvious choices may not be the right ones. So think about it hard. Think about it in relation to the fruits you have on hand and the tape you have on hand. For example, you might think that a tomato would look good here, just right in the middle. But would it? The tomato is pretty large for this small painting. I would recommend choosing something smaller, such as a kiwi or some cranberries. I actually think cranberries would make this very nice. So your next choice will be what tape do I use? If you chose duct tape for this project, it would completely cover the cranberries. So that's a no-no. What would make much more sense would be a small, delicate tape. Choose the correct length and gently place one end onto the painting over the fruit. Oh no! And this is a common mistake that people make. As you can see here, I have put the tape in the incorrect position. So what do you do? To solve this problem, simply untape the fruit and scoot it further in. You may find that you need a longer piece of tape. So it's really just a process of experimentation. There, I feel like that looks good. Should we put one, only one, or should there be multiple cranberries? I don't know, that's a personal choice. What are you trying to say with your art? I think I like the minimal statement that the single cranberry with glitter tape makes for this piece. Let's move on. It is best to match the proportion of your fruit or vegetable to the proportion of your painting. For this piece, I might choose a celery, but that obscures so much of the painting. Wouldn't a leek be a better choice here? I think so. So pull the tape. That should be enough. Oh. And tape it down. Beautiful. And there you have it. A beautiful piece of fine art out of a lowly acrylic pour painting that was previously just a hobby. Don't be afraid to experiment. What would this look like with some tiny little tape? Maybe it would look better. There. Perfect. Make sure that the vegetable is secure. Uh-oh. It's not. When in doubt, just use duct tape. Duct tape is the most commonly accepted tape in the fine art world. There, 
Perfect. Let's see if it stays. Yes, that's great. But what about canned fruit? That is a very unique choice and it would look great with this color scheme. So let's tape that down. Now this is tricky because you want to show what it is because it says 100% organic mandarins and you also want to show the painting. So the correct choice for this combination of fruit and painting will be large strong clear packing tape. Let's try that out. Like so. And like so. There. Perfect. Now, I'm sure if you take this into an art gallery, you will be welcomed with open arms because it contains fruit and tape. Now that I've broken down the fruit technique for you, I hope you will share it with your friends. No one should be ashamed of their acrylic pour paintings, and just by adding a few fruits and vegetables, you too can be viewed as a fine artist. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with someone you know. Give it a thumbs up, and be sure to leave a comment. What fruits and vegetables do you think are the best for this technique? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Happy pouring.